Well, I keep hearing stories from our local real estate professionals telling me that their buyers don't want to move forward in their purchase. They want to wait to see what the market does. Um, they're not interested at this time, but they're able to afford a home and able to purchase a home today. Unless you're living with your parents for free, I recommend don't ever move out. Stay there as long as you can. But if you have to rent and you're able to purchase, let me illustrate the benefit of buying versus renting. Have a look at this. We're going to open our Chicago Agent 1 app, tap on calculators, and go to rent versus buy. We'll put in a current rent price of $2,500 and our median home sales price or purchase price of $423,500. Switch it over to FHA for 3.5% down. Our assumptions, I'm going to go to a 5% interest rate. That's going to fluctuate, of course. About $90,000 to qualify for that house at 423.5 approximately, depending on your debt to income ratio. All right, for our home price appreciation, in 2005, our median home sales price was $325,000. And today, our median home sales price is $423,500. So over the last 17 years, we've appreciated just over 30%, and that's 1.76% annually. So let's put that in there. Home appreciation over the last 17 years is 1.76%. Go to rent appreciation at 2% and a home maintenance at a half a percent. Compute. The idea that we're trying to figure out here is if it's better to rent or is it better to buy? And in this scenario, in almost in every scenario, owning a home with our bring to close, our closing costs, our total payments made, our maintenance, appreciation, principal savings, everything, $88,000 and renting $89,000 in a break even point of two years and 11 months. That's how fast it makes sense. In two years and 11 months, if you're renting, you're already what you would be at owning a home at $423,500. So as you can see, it's always a better time to purchase than rent. Have a great day.